Welcome to STAD Foundation Advanced Tutorials by Civil Thinking and in this class we are going to see how to design an isolated footing with a pedestal. Okay? Now in the previous classes we have designed isolated footing without any pedestals but in this class we will also consider a pedestal and see what we get. So before I move on I suggest to you to please watch the video lectures on STAD Foundation Advanced one by one as in the playlist so that you understand better. The playlist link is in the description or also you can click on the pop-up on your screen. Now coming to the today's class. So first of all, let us create a new project. Okay, we have created our project. Now uh, before everything, let us save this. Let me call this as isolated footing with pedestal tutorial okay our file is saved now so let us begin so let me create first of all uh, an isolated footing I will create it at the origin okay so let me zoom first and let me hide these I will say no okay good now let me set the dimensions now one feet and one feet is good now let me include the pedestals now how do we include the pedestals it is here pedestal and anchor bolt okay you just simply have to click yes here okay so here is our pedestal okay if I click no so this will be without pedestal and when I click yes you can see we have a pedestal now the shape of the pedestal is going to be the same as the shape of the column okay because you can see here I have chose that you know shape of this column to be rectangle okay so when we create a pedestal it is also going to be a rectangular cross section okay so if here I had chosen a circular so when I create a pedestal it would be also circular okay so now, now let us move on to the loads so let me create a load case here for example dead load okay loading type is uh, dead load it is good okay now let me create another let us call this as live load okay so I will keep the loading here as live load okay now let me add two loads okay I will right click on the dead load and click add column reaction so this is the actual load I will apply a vertical load downwards so it means along the y axis so fy but it is downward so it is going to be negative okay so let us say negative 50 kips is the dead load okay now for the right this uh, live load I will right click on the live load to add a live load okay again let us say this is negative 20 okay and click on add now let us assign the loads I will click on this reaction and click on assign now similarly I will click on my live load and click on assign so we have both the loads are assigned okay so this is dead load of you know 50 kips and this one is live load of minus 20 kips okay so our loads are you know created now let us create a load combination so I will use a program for this so let me use American code ASC okay table 716 so I will hit generate load combination similarly I will hit the general load combination generate load combination for the ultimate load combination okay so our you know load combinations for both service load and the ultimate load are successfully created okay so let us move on to other step now let us move on to soil properties now soil bearing capacity factors okay now it has chosen a soil bearing capacity factor of one okay but if in your project it is not one it is something else okay for example 1.33 or something you can you know change that okay it is not a big deal so let us move on to the job so let me create a new job I will name it as isolated footing with pedestal okay job okay 
now it is isolated okay so assigned to selected now i am going to use all the load cases so i will click on this second one and click on create job so our job is successfully created now let us go to our job these are our design parameters now this is concrete and reinforcement so unit width of concrete whatever you want okay you can put it here and you can also set the units okay so similarly everything strength of concrete and everything these values are based on you know the project on your on which you, you know you are working okay so if you have any problem in these things let me know but uh, as of you know as of my knowledge it is very straightforward okay whatever the value you have you know based on your project just put them here okay now this is cover and soil again this is the you know soil geotechnical part so what what is the you know pedestal clear cover what is the unit weight of soil okay you can put it here and change the units based on your project okay so everything you will put here okay and for my case since this is a tutorial it is good okay i will keep the default values okay so then we have sliding and overturning it is 1.5 1.5 0.5 and if in case in your project it is different you can change them here okay not a big deal so let us hit the button design and let the program design it okay okay our you know design is ready and by the way we got zero warnings and zero errors which is a good thing okay so let me show you the design so this is our design sheet okay calculation sheet now you can also print it if you want so here we have this is footing and it has chosen a length of 8.33 feet with the same and thickness of the you know footing is 1.58 feet okay let me show you here so here it is our you know this is our isolated footing with a pedestal okay so this part is a pedestal it is height is one feet okay this is what we specified okay now this thing is what it is the depth of soil right above the you know isolated footing now this is the thickness of our isolated footing okay so this is the overall you know thickness in of the isolated footing including the depth okay because one feet is the height of the depth height of the pedestal and 1.58 is the height or thickness of the you know isolated footing so when we sum them sum them up it is going to give you the overall thickness of 2.58 okay so here we have everything so this column this is pedestal yes uh, pedestal shape is rectangular why rectangular because we have chosen the shape of column to be rectangular so automatically it is going to choose the shape as the rectangular okay so pedestal height is one feet pedestal length is two feet pedestal width is two feet okay so these are the design parameters okay now all of these things you will see uh, as i have told you before uh, Citad foundation provides us okay in depth design okay you see these checks okay everything is ready okay and then we have you know the final okay so this is the reinforcement so you can see everything T take your time to go through this you know the when you print it okay you will learn a lot and you will appreciate the you know Citad foundation advanced program now you can also see the detailed and scheduled drawing here okay this is the scheduled drawing okay this is our scheduled drawing now here we have this is our you know cross section right section view okay so anyways i think you know that is pretty much that i want to tell you okay if you have any doubts you can comment okay and if you need any help in your uh, in your you know uh, geotechnical or foundation engineering project using stad pro or stad you know foundation advance okay please let me know okay you can contact me for that okay so that's it for today see you in the next class thank you